What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally getting around to doing the update on how the new radiator from Mishimoto is doing and I have really good news for everybody. So stay tuned. But first guys, as always, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy our content and let's hear a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of the Mishimoto Performance Radiator. Well guys, I probably picked the worst time to start this review as I just, I'm still actually climbing slightly. We just reached an altitude of 2,000 feet. Uh, we're up there a little bit. 2,000 feet to some people might not sound like a lot, but uh, even big rigs are pulling over. They got their four rays on. But anyway, we're going to get into this review because I'm losing daylight and I'm losing it fast. So. Uh, last time I just checked, we hit roughly 2,100 feet elevation. And as I was coming, truth be told, coolant level, fine. Pulling those hills on the oil temp, though, is a little hard. And uh, I am at 250 degrees. However, my coolant is staying very low at 221 was the high. Now, before everybody comes out and says my oil cooler's blown, it's not. What it is, is when you're towing campers, you know, you gotta throw that whole 65 mile an hour within 15 degree delta stuff right out the window because you can't hold on to that, especially towing something like this. This is roughly a 13,000 pound camper. So we just finished our climb. I'm coasted down here, letting temps get back down. Some of you guys may remember back home, I'm at roughly 400 feet elevation up here we reached the highest of 2,200 feet. That particular spot was 2,159 feet elevation, so pretty far up there, especially for my setup, because I do have bigger injectors, I do have a larger turbocharger. Exhaust temps are perfectly in check, even pulling some of these hills like that. Now, let's get to the big, the most important part of this review is how are the coolant temps doing? Phenomenal. The coolant temps are doing so good. Right now they're at 203 towing this. Now, full disclosure, I did just come down. I just did drop like 150 feet elevation down a hill, so that really helped. But it does go to show it was at 221, and in that relatively short time, dropped almost 20 degrees. Now, moving on, besides just the radiator, we also did the fan clutch. As far as the fan clutch goes, I've seen it kick on a few more times. It does start to engage at about 220. I'll see it spin about 1500 RPMs, maybe 2000. Full engagement I have seen not many times and not for very long. Here and there at certain elevations it has hit uh, about 228 and the fan does seem to kick on about that. And uh, then I'll see, you know, 3000, 3500 rpms out of the fan so it's really pulling in some air then and that does lower my coolant temps rapidly and then we're fine so whereas the last time i towed the camper i spent a ton of time at that particular coolant level i have almost i've seen it twice on this trip other than that it's been 220 or less and typically about 213 213 is probably my average for coolant temperature. So as far as this Mishimoto radiator, it is working amazing. As far as the overall truck performance here, I'm cruising about 75. Oil temp is still dropping. Obviously my coolant temp is much lower, so it is pulling my oil temp down. So that's good. Truck's running great. Again, we'll bring up elevation. I do think we're at 1800 feet elevation. I do have a little help because we are going down a lot of hills, so it's helping me keep speed up. But it is relatively easy to keep 70 degrees with the current, or 70 degrees, 70 miles per hour in the truck. So the hills are nice though, I will say that, but it is something the truck can relatively easily do on its own anyway. So I do want to also let you guys know, we did a modification up in New York. I didn't record it, or my buddy up there, Andrew, one of the people I go see, they're like family up there. He was helping me out. We put a new no limit fabrication intercooler pipe in. Some of you guys were guessing from my other video, things I was gonna do. That is the big modification I wanted. I know it's not a huge modification, but 
that is what happened while we were down there. Nice piece, very, I don't want to say bad fitment because it's not bad, it's just it's very particular. It's very precise, there's not a lot of wiggle room for error, but it, it is a nice piece. Welds look great. Incredibly high quality boots are coming with this setup. So I am currently loving it. And obviously there's no leaking of my boots, so that's another positive. When I get home, uh, probably not tonight, but I will clamp down those clamps a little more and torque them to uh, very to probably 75 inch pounds is what I did for the other one. So I'll probably clamp them down to that. But it is definitely a nice piece. Again, welds look amazing. I like how they move the boot to a new location. And we're gonna talk about this more. I don't wanna spoil it. So I like that the boot though is in the middle as opposed to up top. I know this hand, you know I not helpful at all, but <laughs> um, I will show you guys what I mean in a future video. I will do that probably sometime this week and hopefully by the weekend you guys get that video out. I'm planning on having this video to you like the next day after I film. If I have enough energy when I get home, I'll do it, but that's not looking likely. So while I'm towing and we have a little bit more light, let's get in. We've talked about the radiator incredibly happy with it it's a great product so far this is a this is the hardest place i tow to because again we do see there's a period where i climb from like 600 feet elevation to 2200 in almost consistent non-stops uh it's it's a brutal brutal tow for me and again we're talking about a truck and technology that's pretty dated so part of this whole channel was making a six liter compete to the best of its ability with newer technology and the more expensive trucks. Again, we're not talking tuned. I'm not saying a tuned 6.0 can take a tuned uh, Gen 2 6.7 or uh, the L5P Duramax as far as overall performance. I'm not saying any of that stuff, but I mean, just talking the stock trucks to this, and that was kind of one of the goals we went for and this tow up there with this camper is very hard, again, because of the elevation we hit. Towing to Myrtle Beach, walk in the park. Towing up here, brutal. So the truck continues to perform incredibly well. I'm very, very happy with this. The new Mishimoto radiator, like I've said, thrilled. Big shout out to Mishimoto for taking care of their product when I said, hey, we have an issue and they took care of it on the spot. It didn't cost me any extra money. I gotta, I gotta give them props. Anyway, YouTube, again, the truck's doing great. Very happy with it. Boost is good. I may still be leaking a little bit of boost out that the new intercooler pipe, just because it's not all torqued down yet. But overall, incredibly happy. And sorry about the noise, we're climbing another hill because they're, they never end out here, holy crap. But anyway, like I said, truck doing great, very happy with it. We're gonna get this clamp tightened up. Towing this, or pulling this hill, the truck seeing 30 PSI of boost, 30.8 to be specific. Uh, and we're pulling 65 miles an hour. If there's more videos you everybody wants to see, guys, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll do everything I can to make them happen. I always try to get the videos you guys request out. I've even had people reach out on social media platforms asking for videos, and I try to, I try to make what I can happen. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't, but typically I can at least help them and guide them a little bit to get them what they need. Well, YouTube, I think that is it. Like I said, the radiator working great. The truck did amazing on this trip. We have about 100 or so miles left. I'm gonna get home before we lose all this light. Well, when I get home, there won't be any light. So anyway, guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Share this video, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like. And guys, let me know what you wanna see next. And let me know if you have any questions about how the truck did or just builds in general, guys. Drop those comments down below and I'll see you in the next upload.